Learn how they can help you. Here are the latest gas prices in and around Ocala and Marion County, Florida. From your friends here at WOCA, the source. Uh huh, we're back. Here we go. They're saying that the gas prices are going to be coming down about 12 cents this week or so. Well, here we go. The lowest one right now is 241. It's the Shell Station over there on six, uh, 6155 Southwest Florida. In Florida, 200 near Southwest 60th Avenue. Next one is the Walmart Station. That's way up there at 7871 Southwest 200. That's near Southwest 93rd Street. That's 242. Another one is uh, Murphy, USA, is 242, 955 Southwest, Florida. And it goes up to 243, and it holds up 243 through Racetrack, Marathon, and Wawa, uh, Sitco, Exxon, another Marathon, and another Wawa. They're all at 243. So that's the average price, 243. That 241 was the lowest that we have right now in Marion County and Ocala. Thank you for listening and this update. Is brought to you by right now, WOCA. Howdy, folks. RL here for Dairy Queen Silver Springs. We want to thank Marion County for 45 years of loyalty. We love this wonderful community. So come on down to Dairy Queen Silver Springs and get some of our great food and ice cream. We have. Howdy, folks. RL here for Dairy Queen Silver Springs. We want to thank Marion County for. Listening again next week on WOCA during midday with Joe for your answers on Ask Big Joe. Now during midday with Joe on WOCA, it's time for all your questions. So listen in for your answers on Ask Big Joe. All right, time to ask Joe some questions. You got questions? I've got answers. My luck is like a bald man who wins a comb. I'll tell you, that's my luck. First question is, how do you label something that should be the intro to something? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going I'm, I'm to label it so there's only one. There won't be a two. There won't be a dry one anymore. It's going to be solid. Intro, outro. That's it. And you can't make it can't be done no more. There won't be two in there make boo boos anymore. All right. If you have a question for Joe, you are invited to call the number six two two nine six two two. Remember, the questions can be anything from A to Z. That's it. Except he prefers no Q questions. No Q questions. No, no, no Q. Questions. If you have a question that starts with a Q, you can run it by Rob. Why is cucumber starts with a C? Sounds like Q. Right? <laughs> you know, I, I've been bored a little bit lately, so I think I'll just come to the mall, no, okay. find a great parking spot, Good. and sit in my car with the reverse lights on. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love that one. <laughs> Bill Sharon traffic <laughs> tied up. That's a good one. I love yeah. that one. Don't you hate those people that oh, just yeah. sit there and just wait for you to leave? Oh well this is the other one is the other one is yeah. when I get a call from a telemarketer, I just say, Hello, you're on the air <laughs> and they hang right up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I get those things. That's yeah. a good one. Mm-hmm. Come on, you're on the air. <laughs> yeah, good morning. You're on the air. That's right. Uh, when one door opens, when door when one door closes, and another door opens, yeah, you're probably in jail. Gee, <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I remember being able to get up without making sound effects. Those were the good times. <laughs> good I, oh, last night I sat down on both my knees with. I said, oh my mm. God. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even have any celery with me. So, yeah. Mm. Did you have a cellar door? That went downstairs. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, exercise. Exer- I love exercise. I run like the winded. Mm. <laughs> I'll join you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the only way I can touch my toes is if, if I bend my knees. That's it. I sit down and touch my toes. That's it. <laughs> Remember when you were able to just bend over and cut your own toenails nice and easy? Now you got to go into the bathroom and put them up on the shelf and go, ah, ah. Yep. 
<laughs> I'll tell you what. Man, and the best yeah. time to cut your toenails is after you take a shower, not before. Because before they're all crunchy and everything. Snap, oh, bing, yeah. bing, bing. And then you don't find them until you're walking barefooted. Oh, I hate that. Ugh. But if they're you know, after the shower, <laughs> your, your toenails are softer. And they just lay right there. After the <laughs> Little w- wisdom. As you get older, you find, ah, oh, son of a mother lover. You throw it away. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, and it's, you, th- you think about it. Oh, my gosh. That little, that little itty bitty toenail of yours. Ah, oh, oh. Almost like stepping on a Lego. Oh. Did you ever use the public shower at a campground? Yes. That's where you find like really nasty oh. toenails. Well, I never walk. I never went near bare feet. <laughs> no, I knew that. I always wore. I always had a pair of sandals, flip flops, or what do you call them? Uh, ocean shoes. They slip on. They're ocean all shoes. Because oh, people make the no. cranberry sauce, right? No, not ocean crocs. shoes. Ocean shoes. Ocean shoes. Ocean shoes cranberry oh, sauce. that you can go in the water with. Right, you go in the water yeah. with. Yeah. Oh, okay. The cranberry sauce. That's right. <sighs> Larry, it wasn't funny the first, second, or third time, but I'm, I'm, I'm there for you, Larry. As soon as you find something, Whew, poor Larry, <laughs> poor Larry, poor Larry, <laughs> poor Larry. Nothing he says is ever funny, man. No, I did once in a while. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. give you credit when credit is due. Yeah, I have yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Larry, you got no credit with me right now. It's all cash. All right. Hmm. Are you ready for your questions? Yeah, you got a question for me. All right. What's sh- dear Big Joe? What's sh- dear Big Joe? What shows are you into? Star Trek, Star uh, Star Wars, eh, a little bit. Uh, I like science fiction. I, I do like science fiction. That way you don't have to worry about anything being real. or, 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 or Did you watch anything last night? Uh, Antiques Roadshow. Ah, so oh, I'm sorry, uh, American Pickers. So that's real, kind of. Kind of, you know, so. Those are fun, those hey, two that, guys. Yeah. Those American Picker guys yeah, are fun. Dear yeah, Big yeah, Joe. Yeah. What is so your? What do you think, Robert? Mm-hmm. Yeah, good idea. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. There you go. All right. Because God forbid somebody else should answer the door. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> well, you're doing a show. Uh, what, what kind of show? We doing a show? Dear Big Joe. When do we find that out? What is your claim to fame? I don't have a claim to fame. Thank <laughs> goodness. I'm just here being annoying. <laughs> I think you do have a claim to fame. What? Radio. Oh, radio. Okay. <laughs> Dear Big Joe. Yes. How often do you play sports? It depends on your definition of sports. Shuffleboard, is that a sport? Yeah. Okay. Uh, pool table, that a sport? Sure. I'm playing pool? Sure, I guess. It, it's, sure. Uh, it's, uh, tennis, no more. No more. Golf once in a while. Yeah. yeah. Once in a blue moon. <laughs> what about bocce? Oh, bocce, if that's a sport. Yeah, well, as much as I can, whatever I can. That's a sport, yeah, yeah. So how how often do you um, try to find sponsors for radio football? Oh, I just did that last night. <laughs> oh yeah, if you want. Hey, that reminds me. Uh, August sixteenth, we're we're doing we're starting it until November this uh-huh, year, uh-huh. and we're going to broadcast all the Vanguard games. Uh huh. So if you want to uh, sponsor per game or all of them, we're here. What happens? I guess we'll. We'll announce it that you know you're you're a sponsor. You're supporting uh, the local. Galen. You know this the play by play guy. Yeah, and then his uh, That's a really Bob good job. Blah, 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 is going to be his co-host. <laughs> I forgot Bob's name. Sorry, Bob. I, I thought I had his name on here. I was looking for yeah, it. Yeah, says, "Oh, you are you looking?" Robin for probably it. knows this. Okay, yeah, of course she knows everything. Yeah, if it wasn't for Robin, you'd be off the air. I tell you what, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh no, you wouldn't. You just wouldn't be organized. <laughs> All right, dear Big Joe. Yes, sir. Um. Are you usually early or late? It depends on the event I'm going to. If I if it's a normal thing, day to day, I'm probably late all the time. But a special event, I'm there a half hour early or ten hour early. There you go. <laughs> ten hours early. Wow. An hour early. Oh, okay. I thought you said ten. Oh, well, it depends. Now the the new Star Wars uh, Galaxy's Edge, they're saying get there two a.m. And the, the three days, the first three days that they're open, yeah. 29th, 30th, and 31st, they're opening the park at 6 a.m. just for Galaxy's Edge. So this is shop talk. Did they get back to you? Not yet. Okay. We're waiting. We'll find out. Yet. Dear Big Joe. We're, we're, for those who are wondering what we're talking about, we're trying to get in touch so I can broadcast live from Disney right. at Galaxy's Edge. So they'll see if they'll let me do it. Dear Big Joe. Come on, Disney. How Call often do you people watch? How often? All the time. Every single day. <laughs> right now. What, yeah, right, right now I watch people walking by smiling, <laughs> walking by with constipation, walking by with an- anticipation, 
walking by if they're going to go eat at the food court, otherwise known as the WOCA commissary, you know, if they can hold it down. <laughs> Dear Big John. Yeah. Why is Robin still out there? Uh, because she <laughs> has the gift of gab, and and she has and she's right. very polite. Oh, my gosh. Dear okay. Big John, what is your favorite drink? I think during this segment, I'm going to lock the front door from now on. <laughs> What is my favorite drink, alcoholic or non-alcoholic? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't say. Alcoholic is my uh, hard, hard liquor is rum and coke. That's the hard stuff that uh -huh. I like. Uh -huh. I do drink some wine. Uh, I do drink beer, a certain uh -huh. type of beer I want to say unless they want to advertise with us. And uh, I don't drink soda. Very, very, very little. Very little so uh, rum and coke with the coke in it uh, or, or cola. Uh, but I do drink, and I drink a lot of those um, sugar-free packets where you put it in like a, a little thing of, of water and you shake it up. Oh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. Drink, I'll drink those just to get a flavor. To crystal the light? Like crystal light? It's not like a crystal light thing kind of thing, yeah. Dear Big Joe, what do you hope never changes? Wow. Attitudes. I hope they never change. Attitudes. Good ones. Maybe. Of course good ones. You well, want bad ones to change. Well, bad attitudes. Well, that, that's more fun for the good ones. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. All right, here's a fun one. Yeah. Hey, Big Joe, what is your dream car? My dream car? Yeah. Or oh, See, now I would like a... My dream camper would be a van. Be ah. A nice van. All camped out. Oh, yeah. You know, like eighty thousand dollar thing or whatever it is. That's my dream. You can go go park it everywhere, and it's it is gorgeous in there. I can't say the brand, but I've seen them. Oh my goodness! But <laughs> as far as a car, uh, because I'm a big guy, a lot of these little cars, I, I cannot fit in a Corvette. My head hits the ceiling I in a Corvette. It. Yeah, so I cannot. You know, I went to buy one once. I went, nope, that won't work. So I I couldn't get into the Corvette. Uh, I am. I am not into glitzy cars per me se. Either, me either. You know, give me one that works, that's functional. Get me, get me there, get me back. If it has some style to it, yeah. I, of course, I'm not totally no. Uh, but I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Again, nothing against uh, the Beetle, the Volkswagen Beetle. But I'm not that kind of guy. I don't. It's not that. That's mm. my style. I have to get in a car that I fit in. I've been, I bought cars where I fit in them. But I look like a, a cordine getting in and getting out. <laughs> An accordion getting in and getting uh -huh, out. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, so. um, We're out of questions, aren't we? No, no. no oh. Dear Big Joe, where would you rather be from than where you are from? That's a crazy question. Where would, where you, would you rather, rather be, be from? from? Yeah. Where, where are you where from? I, you say New Haven, right? Connecticut. Why would you rather be from anywhere else? I would not. No. Nah. So I'm sorry. I have to agree with Mr. Larry today. <laughs> that uh, No, uh, my hometown is New Haven, Connecticut. Proud that I was you born and raised there. You should always be proud of where you're from. Yeah, born and raised there. Uh, you know, no matter where you go, that's home. Robin is always proud of Milwaukee. Some people are proud to be from Ocala, you know. Sure. Home is home where you start. Yeah. Now, you might travel around the world and call other places home, but your true home where you is where you're born and raised. Spent your time. Yeah, well, yeah we spend, well, I can't say most of my time because in reality, I didn't sp spend most of my time where I was born. Because you know, I was like 27 years up in, in North Carolina. I was only like 20. But how old were you when you moved out of Connecticut? Oh, there's a good question. 20-something. So you were there 27 years. That's a big, long time. That's... It was 20-something, not 27, no. 27 was up in North Carolina. Ah, okay. So, yeah. All right. Dear Big Joe. Yes. Welcome, Robin, back. Hi, Robin. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Or as a little kid would say, Hi, Robin. Do you have any song completely memorized? Yes. Which one? On a clear day. Oh, Robert I love Goulet. that song. Now, why is that I one completely? That I don't know. Just happens, I just huh? happen to know that one. <laughs> uh, and most of everybody loves somebody. And a lot of karaoke ones. If you show me one word or two words, and I can roll with it. But mm -hmm. but on a clear day, I know the whole thing. Dear Big yeah. Joe. Yes. Of all the things in the world, tangible and intangible, mm -hmm. can you name one that rates a 10 out of 10? Tangible or intangible? Right. Something that rates a 10 Ooh, out of 10. Wow. Is Disney World get a 10 out of 10? 
No, nothing. No. No, I don't have a 10 out of 10. You I don't can't. have a 10 out of 10. I do not have a 10 out No. No, tangible or intangible. What about the Q-tip? <laughs> can the Q-tip be improved upon? I don't think so. I think it is. Why is it called a Q-tip? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, what? Why did it? Why isn't it an R-tip? Oh, so the, you're saying the improvement could be the name? In that case, hmm. in that case, but there are there are uh, they they call them cotton swabs. Have you ever? Well, could the like cotton they call swab. tissue? What about barbecue sauce? Oh, there's so many variations of barbecue. But is sauce. there one that gets a ten out of ten for no. you? No, none of them. Okay, you want to go food? We're gonna go pizza then. Pepe's oh, Pizza. Pe I know. Well, you knew that as soon as I said pizza. I know. I'm sorry. I'll eat. My mission in this lifetime is to go to Pepe's <laughs> yeah. and send a picture to you of Robin and I actually eating it so that you feel jealous. That's right. Because you told me one time, nothing makes you jealous. And I said to Robin, I bet you I got something. <laughs> <laughs> that might work. <laughs> that might work unless you go to look and there I am photo bobbing in the back going. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. There you go. Now, that would be something yeah, if you actually got there us. before yeah. us and that waited be for fun. you. Yeah, yeah. That'd like be hard that. to sit there and wait for you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How many pieces you Three. Dear Big Joe, what job would you be terrible at? A news reporter. Why? I cannot pronounce the words. I can I give you guys kudos for all those <laughs> names you have to say. We mess up uh, on all those names. Uh, artist Weitzing is Zonger, one with the Zing is on. Oh, no, forget it. No, I can't do it. I won't do it. That's why I will not do news. I've done news once in my life, and I messed it up so bad, and they never invited me back to that job either. Oh, my. No, they told me I was going to just play the music, and then all of a sudden I got there. To, and by the way, at the top of the hours, you got to read the news. I said, say what? Oh, <laughs> and my. I tried to record it before while I was, and it, it, it was a catastrophe. I cannot do news. It's just not my, I can't do it. Not your fault. I can ad lib. I can talk about anything for a zillion hours. But as far as me saying, and now uh, Mr. Brown was a recorder. No, 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 I just can't do it. Dear Big Joe. Yes, sir. What is, what is your favorite bait? Oh, blonde, 36, 24, <laughs> 30, No, what? Is that the bait you're looking for? <laughs> you have to bait the blonde. Oh, I thought she was the bait. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Sure. You're you're on live with, with me here. Ask Joe. What do you got? Give me a question. Uh, I just... I don't want to ask Joe a question, but I want to wish what? my wife, Lori, a happy birthday who's listening right now. Boy, you snuck that in, you son of a gun, you. <laughs> hey, Lori, happy birthday <laughs> from who? Than, What's your first name? Better than doing news. Yeah, thank oh, you. this is Dan. Dan, okay, Dan. Happy birthday to thank you. his Lori. wife. Lori. Lori. <laughs> Lori, there you go. All right, Lori. <laughs> you lucky, you lucky Thanks. son of a gun. You're you got welcome. Dan. I am lucky. Lucky, lucky. Oh, lucky, lucky. You're the lucky one. <laughs> let's, let's get this straight here now. We know better. <laughs> thank That's you, Dan. That's wonderful. Big job. I love that. Yeah. What movie title best describes your life? Oh, my goodness. Going with the wind? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. Goodness, that is that is a, oh, there's so many, there's so many titles, you know, that I could I could think of. Hard uh, to choose. Hercules, no, that wouldn't work. Mine is the Wizard of Ounces. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> spelt it wrong. Yeah, and the Wizard of Ounces. Yeah, rot, rat, Ratatouille, no. <laughs> It's a man, 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 man world. I That's love there. That you go. That's movie. enough. That's a there's good eight one. of those. Eight of those. I think. In there. <laughs> okay. What else? David Joe, when is food actually an art? Uh, art is in the eye of the beholder. So if you look in your spaghetti and meatball, pfft, wow, that looks good, and you devour it. Other Others are, look at that dessert, and they, they make the candy, and they put it there, and it looks all fancy. And you go, you're going to look at it, or you're going to eat it. Come on, you know. <laughs> David Joe, what website do you visit most often? Google. <laughs> There's no hesitation on that one. Well, that was 88% of the United States uses Google, so there you go. <laughs> is that right? Yes. Something, something like that, yeah. Is it a website or is it a search engine? That's a search engine, yeah. That's a Google. search engine. It's Google. debatable. Oh, that's right. Google.com, so it's a website that, oh, that's that right. works as a search, yeah, right? That's right. Yeah, that's sure, right. Sure. But, yeah, I do, I do a lot of, lot of search engines, a lot of uh, 
sites because of what what, what we do here you know, mm-hmm. at the radio station. We're always researching something, just like this morning's gas report that we're going to we did uh, this afternoon. Oh no, this morning, late morning, and we're going to do two a day now. Larry has a has a the a, ability to do that, and and he only has one one. Soundbite he could use, so he can't put the wrong one in. So it's always going to say the right thing. YouTube's going to flag it though. You know? <laughs> no, uh, no, yeah. they're all they're all under fifteen seconds. Okay, I think I think I got <laughs> under fifteen seconds. Yeah, eleven seconds. Dear Big Joe, what is the farthest you've ever been from home? Oh my goodness, that would be, be uh, Yakuza, Japan, or. Singapore, one of those, huh? Philippines. I don't know which one exactly is the furthest way from New Haven, Connecticut. That's oh my gosh. I don't know which one is Hong Kong. I don't know which one is the furthest away. Dear Big Joe, what network was Channel Four where you grew up? Channel Four. What network was it? Oh, NBC. Let me see. Boom, boom, boom. I'm trying to think what network Channel Four was where I grew up. That would be NBC. I think it was NBC. Yeah, New, New, New York. Yeah, we had the same. Oh, well, we had the same. Thing. What was it where you grew up from? Channel Four. Oh, Channel Four. I I, I don't know. It, it was one of the major networks, but I. Well, can't yeah, when we remember. grew up, they only had basically the three major ones. Boom, 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 boom. Then Fox, Fox. Well, I never heard of such a thing. Now look at them. Dear Big Joe, what was the exchange of your phone number when you were young? What was the exchange of your phone number when the you exchange, were young? You mean the area code? No, no, the exchange. Explain. We talked about these. Well, exchange. like here, our number is 622. That would be the exchange. Well, there's a lot. Of, you know, 622. Mine was 777. Oh, really? That was your exchange? Yeah. It was 203, 777. Didn't have a word? Oh. <laughs> Mine was Castle One. I do not remember. I do remember, but I don't think it. I don't know. It, Castle One. Maybe. For a very short time, yeah. Mine well, was Humble Three. Humble? HU3. Humble. Humble 3. Yeah, well, that was before there were seven digits. Yes, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think so. No, there were seven digits. Was there seven digits? Just, uh, well, from my home was. All oh, right, then it was seven digits. So Cast- they, they put the word, and then they put the other digits. And then we, <laughs> yeah. Right. Then finally, what are we doing with letters? You could use the, the other the other uh, numbers for that. Yeah. Dear Big Joe, when was the last time you climbed a tree? Oh, wow. Uh, that would have been last month. <laughs> really? I had to cut it down. So oh, oh my gosh. So you actually got up there and started and from the top down? Well, I used a ladder. Oh, that's scary. Dude, J- Big Joe, what leg do you put on first in your pants? What the, leg? the right leg. I never put the wrong leg in. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Dear Big Joe, have you ever received a permanent? Uh, a permanent for what? <laughs> <laughs> Permanent. Like, did you get curls in your hair? Oh, that. My, my, I have natural. Not, when my hair was hair, when I had hair, it was, and it, well, in the back of my hair, you can see it's curly hair. I can. I think it looks dashing. Yeah, I don't I know like if I'm going to cut it or not, but I'm definitely gonna get, not going to get a ponytail. It'll get cut before that. But. <laughs> David Joe, what is the most interesting piece of art you've ever seen? Picasso and Norman Rockwell. Alive. I Those mean, are artists. And, those artists, that's the piece of work. Picasso's piece of work and Just Norman one, Rock. All of them? Oh, okay. Picasso's the one in Chicago in the in the uh, plaza. Uh-huh. It looks like a, like a, I guess it's supposed to be a person. It looks like a, a big heart. and it, It's famous. You, you know, it's in all the movies and everything, right in the middle of uh, uh, Chicago. And the Norman Rockwell one, there's so many of them. I guess I would go for the one, uh, the kid in the barbershop. That's a, that's a good one. Oh, I remember one. that one. Yeah. He, well, he did, so, he did so many of them. The famous one, of course, is the Thanksgiving dinner. That's another mm-hmm. one, you know. Hey, Big Joe, what one thing do you really want to do but can't afford? Buy a house on the river. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's up there with the Which river? money. Which river? Doesn't matter. <laughs> just, just any nice river? river? A nice river. Yeah, I can't afford that yet. The so e- how about the I East said River? Yet, like yet. The lottery. Yeah. How about the East River? Do you want to be, have a house there? <laughs> we are way down East River. Yeah, there are a lot of people that are housed there, from what I understand. Way down the East River there. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I'll tell you way down the East River that now, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Joe, where do you usually go when you have to excuse yourself? Well, if I choose myself, I'm not telling you where I'm going. <laughs> what is wrong with you? 
What is, I mean, come on. Why do women call it the powder room? Uh, excuse me, I'm going to go powder my nose. That's not what they're powdering. I'm no. sorry, no. And why does it always take, you're out to dinner, and it takes two women to go to the bathroom? Exactly. I'm going to go, me too. What? A guy, I got to go, all right, go ahead. I'm going to finish my beer. There's like one guy, you go by yourself, but a woman, they got to go in pairs. The last one, what, what state would you never go back to? State of confusion. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> That's <is> great. <laughs> How many seconds? You didn't tell me. Oh, I'm sorry. Fifteen. Oh, thank you. You're a, you're a kind man. <laughs> uh, hey, everybody. Thanks for listening to this foolishness and the serious side of WOCA Ocala broadcasting from the Paddock Mall. Don't you know? Listening again next week on... Fox News. I'm Lillian Wu. It's debate night for former Vice President Joe Biden, California Senator Kamala Harris, and eight other Democrats. Following the face-off last night on CNN, the most Googled name, Mary Ann Williamson, the self-help author explaining her stance on reparations for slavery. People heal when there's some deep truth-telling. We need to recognize that when it comes to the economic gap between blacks and whites in America, it does come from a great injustice that has never been dealt with. That great injustice has had to do with the fact that there was 250 years of slavery. And a push for new legislation after a spate of viral videos showing police officers drenched with water. This time, it's water. But what's next? Gasoline? Acid? New York Assemblyman Mike LePetri among those wanting to make it a felony to throw any substance on police. This is Fox News. Today we decided to walk to school. The light counted. 15, 14, 31, I mean 13. We took a left on Carroll Street. Danny Smart, but he gets distracted. I realized he forgot his homework. I hope I, hope I don't have another, another bad day at school. When you can see learning and attention issues from their side, you can be on their side. That's why there's understood.org, a free resource for the parents of the one in five kids with learning and attention issues. Go from misunderstanding to understood.org. Brought to you by Understood and the Ad Council. Pros do it right to have the quantities you need on hand for the job by buying in bulk. Lowe's is here to help by stocking what you need for any size job and at great savings.